Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about system with log semaphore. So semaphore is just like a bucket with a fixed number of keys. Processes that uses a semaphore must first get a key from the bucket before they can continue to execute. Other process must wait until keys are available in the bucket for them to use. In essence, they are best used for mutual exclusion, access control to shared resources and basic synchronization. So basically, if we declare a semaphore, so semaphore is not, is like a bucket of keys. So if we have three processes, process one, process two, and here we have process three. So this, this three processes are using this semaphore. So until and unless, this process get the key this process cannot start this execution so after completing its execution it should put the key back into the semaphore so again if the process to get the key then only you can start the execution and after the execution it should put back the key and this key again can be used for by the process 3 and after the process completes, it should put back the key into the semaphore. So like this, the semaphores are best for mutual exclusion, access control to shared resources and synchronization. So syntax for semaphore is semaphore followed by identifier name. Semaphore is a built-in class and hence it should be used just like another, any other class objects. It has a few methods which we can allocate the number of keys for the semaphore object get and put keys into the bucket let's see the built-in functions in the semaphore first we have a new keyword which is used to declare the number of keys inside the semaphore by default the number of key count is equal to zero if we give new of one the number of keys will be equal to one so any process can get the key and after completing its process, it should put back the key into the semaphore. So with the help of this new keyword, we can create the keys. So specifies number of keys initially allocated to the, to the semaphore bucket and function void put. So with the help of put method, we can put the key into the semaphore bucket and with the help of task get, we can get the key from the bucket. So by default, we can get one key from the bucket. So this task specifies the number of keys to opt in from the semaphore. And function try underscore get int key count equal to one specifies the required number of keys to opt in from the semaphore. So these are the built-in methods which are available in the semaphores. Now, let's see an example. We have a module called tb underscore top. And we are declaring a semaphore called key. And within initial beginning block, we are assigning key equal to new of one. So in the semaphore bucket, we will, we will be allocated with one key. So within folk join none, we are calling the task person A and person B. So in this example, we have two tasks called person A and other is called person B. So in person A, we are calling again, in person A, we are calling again get room task and passing the value of 1 and in put room task and we are passing the value of 1. So in person A, again we are calling get underscore room task and we are passing the value of argument as 1 and we are call, after some time unit delay, we are calling put room task and we are passing the argument 1. And in person B task also, we are calling the get room task and put room task. We are calling get room task and put underscore room task. And we are passing argument as two in this both task. And after in person and in get room task has an argument of ID of bit data type of size two, and it is displaying trying to get, and we are displaying time and id and we are getting the key in get room task and after we are displaying other display statement so in get room task we have two display statements and one get keyword so in get room task we are getting the key 
in get room task we are getting the key and in put room task it is also having an argument of call id and of bit data type and of size 2 and we are displaying time and id and we are putting the key back into the bucket and we are displaying so in put room task we are putting back key into the bucket so initially we are calling person a task and person b task in folk join none so in folk join none we are calling person a and person b task at zero time units only so these two tasks run parallelly here we can see we are calling person a and person b at zero time units only within folk join none so these two tasks are called parallelly and after 25 time unit person a task is again called so in person a at zero time units we are calling get room task and after five time units we are calling the get room task from person b so get room task from person a will be called and in get room task we will get the display statement trying to get a room at output we can see we are getting trying to get a room for id of one and we are getting the key so in the semaphore bucket we will be having zero keys as person a task will get the key and we will get the display statement after that room key retrieved we will get room key retrieved for id of one and after five time unit and after five time and after five time unit we are calling the get room task and passing the value two so at zero time unit initially we have called get room task and we have passed the value of one and at five time unit we are calling again get room task from person b task and passing the argument as two so we will get the display statement as trying to get a room for id let's say the output here we are getting at five time units we are getting trying to get a room for id of two and it will try to get the key get room task will try to get the key but there is no availability of keys so this will block the further statements so this display statement will not be displayed at the output it will wait until the key has been received until the key received by the task so next after 10 time units since this task has not been executed get room task so this task will not be this task will also not be executed so and after 20 time units this put room task will be called since this get room task is not been executed completely so this will block the further execution so this put room task will not will not also be will not be called so after 20 time units put room task by person a will be called and an argument of one will be passed so after 20 time units put room task will be called and an argument of one will be passed so here in the put room task we will get the display statement leaving room id so at the output at 20 time units we can see leaving room id of one and the key will be put back into the sum of four bucket so there will be one key present in the sum of four bucket and we will get the display statement room key put back we will get the time and id so at 20 time units only we will get room key put back id of 1 so as the room key is put back into the semaphore bucket and the person b get room task is waiting for the key to be received it will receive the key and it will execute the further statement so we will so at 20 time units so at 20 time units it will get the key and it will display room key retrieved for id and we will get time and id so here at the output we can see at 20 time units as the key has been got by the get room task we will get room key retrieved for id of 2 in folk join none at 25 time units we are also calling person a task so it will again call person a task so in person a task it is calling get room task and passing the value of 1 so at the output so 
in get room task we will get this display so at output we will get at 25 time units we will get trying to get room id for one so at 25 plus 5 that is 30 time units after 30 time units this task will start executing that is put room task will be called and this display will be executed leaving room id and we will get time and id so at output at 30 time units we can see we are getting leaving room id of 2 and the key is being put back into the semaphore bucket and we are displaying we are getting display room key put back for id 2 and at the same 30 time unit we will get the display statement from the get room task as trying to get the room for id and at same 30 time units we will get since this we will get room key retrieved for id we will get room key retrieved for id of 1 and again after 20 time units that is 30 plus 20 that is 50 time units put room task will be called and an argument of 1 will be passed so put room task in put room task we have display leaving room id and we will get time and id so at 50 time units we will get leaving room id of 1 and key will be put back into the semaphore key and we will get room key put back so this is all about semaphores in system with log thank you for watching this video